Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine. Welcome back to MLS Online with Trip Classroom. My dear students, we are doing chapter number 3 named as the cavity and have you an idea? In the previous lectures, we learned about the new words, their meaning and then we did certain exercises on page number 28, on page number 29. Our today's target is to do before you read on page number 29 where we would be doing exercise E. After then, we would be doing the reading of page number 30 and 31. Let's move forward. Open up your books. Come to page number 29. There is exercise E that says words in context. Scan the poems on page number 30, 31 and circle these words. As you read, try to guess what the words mean. So we are given six words. Detective, dental, gravity, filling, treat, munch. Now these are the six words which would be used on page number 30 and 31. What we have to do that when we are reading these poems or when we are reading these two pages, we have to find this world while reading and we would encircle them. And after then we would try to guess their meaning. And another thing which you would do that at the end of your books there is glossary. Glossary is dictionary on page number 192 it is given on your books. There you would search the meaning of these words. It would help you out to understand the context of the poem i can tell you the meaning of these words right now but that is not the purpose just to know their meanings our purpose is to scan them during the reading and then you have to guess their meaning by reading them in the particular context and another thing why i am referring to glossary is so that you can uh, have the habit of searching the word in the glossary and then knowing down knowing its meaning let's move forward we have to do reading of page number 30 and 31 so on page number 30 we are given one poem known as the cavity and on page number 31 we are given another poem that is known as have you any idea so before uh, starting to read these two poems what we have to do we have to revise the three main words like herbivore herbivore are animals that only eat plants the next word which we have to revise is carnivore carnivore is an animal that eats meat and lastly omnivores omnivores are the one which eat meat as well as plants so let's move forward my dear students i'm going to play an audio of page number 30 and 31 so before listening to the audio read the instructions carefully the first thing is that you have to be an attentive reader it means that while reading you must be attentive you must keep a pencil in your hands and when you are reading read it aloud also be an attentive listener while listening to the audio of unit 3. I am going to play the audio. In that audio, the same poems would be read by the narrator. You have to listen to him or her carefully and also you have to read aloud from your book as well. And then you have to find the words of exercise E of page number 29 while reading the article. The words which I told you in the starting of the lecture like dental, gravity. So when you are reading the poems, you would have to search the those words encircle them so now be attentive i'm going to play the audio open up page number 30 in the same audio page 30 and 31 would be narrated by the narrator so be careful and be attentive page 30 read the cavity it started late one night i felt a nasty ache just after a big bite of yummy chocolate cake it's dentist time for you, Dad told me the next day. And since I couldn't chew, I said, I guess, okay. My canines are bright white, like tiger's teeth, I'd say. I scrub them noon and night and at the break of day. My molars are all shiny. I brush them hard and long. Maybe the hole is tiny. Maybe Dad is wrong. I sat in the big chair. My jaws were open wide. I told the dentist where I had a pain inside. Is my tooth defective? Dear dentist, please explain. You are the great detective who cures all dental pain. He said I had a cavity right inside my tooth he said so with such gravity it had to be the truth 
Is it in my incisor? I asked him with a smile. I should have been much wiser and kept quiet for a while. You'll need a little filling, the dentist softly said. And then he started drilling right inside my head. I heard a funny buzz like an angry bee. But I knew just what it was. It didn't worry me. And when the hole was filled, I jumped down off the chair, for I was really thrilled to get right out of there. Have you any idea? Have you any idea what the carnivore saw scurrying through the trees? A snack, a snack, a snack, a snack that's tastier than cheese. Have you any idea what the carnivore did when it saw its prey? Attack, 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 before the prey could stray. I have canine teeth, you see, dear prey, and they will tear you up. Have you any idea what the herbivore saw growing towards the sun? A treat, a treat, a treat, a treat, big and green and fun. Have you any idea what the herbivore said when it saw the grass? No meat, no meat, no meat, no meat. Just grass that is first class. I have incisor teeth, you see, dear grass, and they will nibble you down. Have you any idea what the omnivore saw reaching up to the skies? A lunch, a lunch, a lunch, a lunch, a mountain of tasty pies. Have you any idea what the omnivore said when it saw all kinds of food? I'll munch, I'll munch, I'll munch, I'll munch, because I'm in the mood. I have molar teeth, you see, dear food, and they will chew you to bits. So my dear students, we listen to the audio. I hope that you have read along the narrator from your books. What you had to do that during the reading, you also had to search the words of page number 29 and encircle them. I hope that you have also done that activity. So your homework is that you have to do the reading of page number 30 and 31 thoroughly. You would have to read these pages again. And what you can do, you can play this audio again and you can read it aloud again with the narrator. And next task is the search and write the meaning of the words given in exercise E of page number 29 from glossary. The words which you found during the reading, you would have to encircle them. After then, you have to search their meaning from glossary as well. I hope that you have understood this lecture. If you have any question, any query, you can ask in the comment section down below. We would meet in the next lecture. My dear students, stay home and stay safe. Allah Hafiz.